I'm Melissa Pineda and today I will be discussing the book Runaway by Alice Munro. Alice Munro uh, was a Canadian author. She was famous for short stories and she uh, was born in Ontario, Canada in 1931 and she died earlier this year actually in May 2024 and uh, she died in Ontario, Canada as well. So um, before I uh, get into, I want to tell you a bit more about um, Alice Munro and then about the book of course, I just want to say if there's anything today that you hear that you like, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so let me begin. Uh, first, a little bit more about uh, Monroe, and then we'll dive into Runaway. So um, Monroe won um, the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2013, and um, she's often just like commended for, or has been commended for like her short stories and the way she writes about women in particular. So she depicts them oftentimes um, as being almost like controlled by domineering men or um, never being able to like fully live up to their potential because they're just women and this is the life that they've been you know presented with. Uh, it's interesting and I've read this is what I've read about her and I see this in Runaway as well. Now uh, it's interesting because uh, this is the first book of hers that I've read and I've never heard anything negative about her until she passed away. And I'm not going to speak too much about this because um, this doesn't have anything to do with Runaway except so basically there have been some allegations that have been confirmed and Monroe had a second marriage and that man uh, molested uh, Monroe's youngest daughter from her first marriage uh, and he pleaded guilty to this as well. And so, okay, yes, the idea is you separate um, you know, the actor from the movie, or you separate the author from the book in this case. But it's interesting because the way she wrote about women um, is is one way. And then it like you get the impression even in Runaway that she is someone that is on the side of women, that is a woman herself, was a woman herself, and supported women in their independence and um, and the way she portrayed women and men in a lot of her novels, as Runaway included, is not very positive. It's sort of like the woman was mistreated and then she didn't do anything to help her daughter. So I don't know, it, it kind of bothered me hearing about this and reading about this um, these past few weeks uh, while at the same time reading her book and I, I sort of do wish I read Runaway before um, before this happened, before all of this uh, awful um, awful stuff came out in the media um, and her poor daughter who's I mean uh, I think she's in her 60s now but in any event um, just terrible. It's not so, a book that I've I've never read anything quite like it. Uh, it's basically a compilation of short stories about different women and the theme is runaway. So whether it be women um, that are trying to escape a marriage that are actually trying to run away and escape or um, for instance, like another case is a daughter that ran away from home and that wants to create her own life. Like there, there are just different stories, but somehow like you, there, you can relate them. They're a little intertwined in a way in some cases. And also they're just, they're relatable, but they're not. It's, it's like what has been said about her writing, I believe is true in Runaway as well, where, um, she's able to really depict characters beautifully where whether you like them or not you feel like you're watching them and you're right beside them and she just really describes the the person like to the core like you you totally get what she's saying who she's talking about and you feel like you know these people and they're sympathetic um, especially the women like you just really feel for them when you're reading um, this book Runaway and and it's sad like it was kind of just a sad story sad stories and at the end you know there's a lot of symbolism um, peppered kind of like throughout this book and you can read into a lot of it or or you don't have to but the stuff that is there I'm like oh that's very interesting and just the way she writes is is very unique and I can see why she won a uh, Nobel Prize in literature for her writing because she really was a phenomenal writer 
and um, like this isn't even, even the type of book that I would usually read and I can recognize that which is fun about reading different types of, of books right you get to experience um, different types of writing um, even if it's not something that like you're usually drawn to so I don't want to like tell you too much about the story um, I'll, I'll pick one for instance like one short story in there that I thought was interesting and maybe even depicts kind of like what I've heard and what I've read about her depicts her writing style so a lot of it is just kind of like sad like unfortunate events sort of thing so, so for yeah. instance this woman she uh, loves to go to uh, Stratford, Ontario to see plays. That's the other thing. It's all about Canada, which is super cool uh, for a Canadian anyway to read. And, um, and she goes to see these plays and she takes the train and she lost her purse. And she encounters a stranger who's like maybe 10 years older than her. And, uh, and she doesn't know why, but she like takes his um accepts his help to oh just come on back to my place and like you know I'll make you something to eat I'll give you money for the train for your ride home and 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 it's all like the internal kind of dialogue of well I shouldn't be doing this and you know but it's arousing these feelings in me and etc cetera, etc cetera. anyway she goes nothing happens he makes her dinner she finds out that he's from Montenegro where's Montenegro um and she starts thinking all these thoughts anyway she ends up then he, he follows through with what he said gave her money for the train ride home and they share this passionate kiss on the platform and he tells her come back and find me in a year's time wear the same green dress put your hair the same way and so um and she does and she goes back and she walks into he had like a shop and he lived above the shop and he looks at her almost like just out of disgust and his like upper lip like shows his teeth and and she's just like so scared she didn't even like walk in she didn't even push the shop door open and he slammed the door in her face and she just left and and went home and she was devastated and she ended up never marrying and kind of always like holding that with her which is really sad right and um anyway she was a nurse and years later she thinks he's in the hospital but it's not his name turns out he is a mute deaf twin and uh and then she figures out what happened that it was the twin that she saw and uh and not the man that she shared this kiss with that wanted her to come back so from and he's of course dead now not the twin not the deaf twin the man that she kissed and so she's like great you know so he died thinking she never came back and she spent like four decades thinking that you know a man that she thought she loved and shared something special with didn't want her so uh, yeah, that's one example. Um, and, and there's all these feelings involved too and like the feelings are also the runaway component. So there's a lot in there. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. This is one of the weirdest book reviews I've ever done because I'm not specifically pulling um, all these parts from, from the book and kind of like putting it together from like a start to a finish sort of idea. So my apologies, it's a little different, but the book is very unique. So if anything I've said today you find interesting, like I suggest pick yourself up a copy. Uh, it is worth the read. Um, okay. I am going to read another one of her books, but because a friend of mine gifted me um, a book of hers. So stay tuned for that. I'm curious myself to see whether or not there's going to be some parallels or some similarities. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you very much for joining and listening and um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already.